The project that we ran this year was the Elders NAIDOC Prescreen. This project is to offer an opportunity for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people over the age of 50 to come to Nanyara and have a health prescreen prior to our massive NAIDOC Community Day event. On the day, our elders have access to diabetes education, podiatry, nutrition, cardiac, respiratory and immunisation services. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have a lower life expectancy than the rest of the population. Therefore, early detection and education is necessary for our community. On the Central Coast, this gap is still evident. This is why we run the Elders Prescreen. The goal is always to increase the number of elders that we can get through our doors and ensure that the majority of our community is getting seen. This allows for early detection and we were able to identify some high risk clients that are now able to get linked into services. The team is most proud of the collaboration with our Dhaka Young community and elders. There is a lot of historical issues that have happened for Aboriginal people in the hospital system. And this is about breaking down some of these barriers and ensuring that Aboriginal people feel welcomed. I love coordinating this project. It was so nice to see on the day our elders enjoy and actually get excited about their health. The project is called Gawa Matcha, which means many hands. The project was a 12 month project where we refurbished internally and externally. And we were really keen to create a culturally appropriate space for Aboriginal young people to be able to come to our centre and feel safe and welcome. Uncle Gavi and I, when we were looking at the cultural lens of this space and what it was going to be, and we'd sat down together and we'd done some um, sketches of some of his artwork from his bloodline into this country, his mother's country, um, of, the, of dreaming of the Milky Way and Dinawan in the sky and how she is a protective energy and when we were looking at that outdoor space of how we could flow that story of mother of protection of safety of of sharing of giving of culture how could we breathe that into the whole center not just outside but inside as well and so um, we were able to paint two doors and um, they're hanging at, at Lake Haven and they help to continue that flow of that story of the dinner one dreaming throughout the site. The space is spectacular. It's a beautiful space. It is very spiritual. It is very sensory. It's set up as three different consult areas in an outdoor area with water features and sensory plants. It's just absolutely beautiful. To be nominated reflects everything that our old people fought so hard to protect and keep and preserve that we've been able to give that back into community. The project really is about connecting young people to their community and to culture through art. Also providing an opportunity for young people to contribute to their community to promote physical activity um, through artwork at a local reserve at San Remo. It really provided a great opportunity for the young people to connect with local Aboriginal artists, to learn more about language and culture and the meaning of health for them from their culture and to share that with the rest of the community through this beautiful artwork that they have produced. It also provided an opportunity for young people to engage with this gathering place at the reserve in a safe and inclusive way and something that they could be proud of and protect with their community. The positive aspects of this project is really being the community involvement with this project from the beginning and also the connections with other agencies such as Council, the Aboriginal Education Consultative Group, Dark and Young Local Aboriginal Land Council and the local primary schools and the high school in that area. We don't always have the resources on our own to, to achieve things, but together as a whole, we can achieve great things. Even though it looks like a very small and simple project, 
it has a bigger impact to that community to, to foster social cohesion and it, that really does impact health and wellbeing.